All right, the summary and thoughts on this presentation are from the book, You Were Born Rich by Bob Proctor. It's a powerful book on wealth creation, a powerful book on creating a wealthy mindset, a powerful book on using your thoughts to improve your reality, and then your inspired actions to do the same. Um, these are my thoughts from the book, and in this presentation you will learn how to use the power of your mind and your mindset to be more effective with money and create more wealth and prosperity in your life. Let's talk about mo money. Money is nothing more than energy. Sometimes we think of make money more of money than what it is. We should not fear money. We should not have fears about money. We should use money wisely. We should use money in ways that it's positive for us. We should not be afraid if we lose money for money can be created and received again very easily if we understand that money is just energy and we have a positive mindset about it and we can are willing to do correct action to receive it. Investing is the key to creating wealth. You have to invest in yourself to make yourself a better person. You have to invest in your well-being and a mindset. And then from there, you can go on and you'll be inspired to make investments that will create more wealth for you, whether that be in a business, um, in the stock market, in real estate, whatever it may be. So invest in yourself first, learn, grow, and then you'll be inspired to invest your money in, in proper ways to improve yourself and improve your wealth. Along the path, everyone has an opinion. There's always opinions. There'll be a lot of negativity as, as people improve themselves and take leaps and take risk. We have to ignore others' opinions because they're a cheap commodity. We have to do what's right in our heart and in our mind, and that's what's most important. Where you're at in life right now, according to Mr. Proctor, is as a result of your previous thinking. So your present state of being is what you thought about yesterday. Think about it. your fears, your concerns, your stress level coming true today, your positive thinking, your dreams, your goals coming true today. So think about your present state of being because it is creating your future. You want to have a positive, powerful self-image. You want to think of yourself as being the best and grandest version of yourself each and every day. If you can't get that done, um, fake it till you make it. Fake, fake being confident. Fake um, self-image. Um, give yourself the affirmations. Educate yourself. Invest in yourself. Your self-image will improve. Don't worry about your results because you're learning. Failure is the pathway to success. Fail and learn, fail and learn, repeat until you get the success you receive. And think highly of yourself and be proud of yourself for being on this path of improvement. You have to expect what you want. If you don't expect to get it, then you're just dreaming, you're just wishful thinking. According to Mr. Proctor, you have to expect it. You have to move towards it. You have to think towards it. And you have to cast your doubts aside and just Focus in on where you want to go. You attract what you are. If you're a positive person, if you're a powerful person, you'll attract power and positivity. If you're a negative person, if you're a weak person, you'll attract weakness and negativity. So think about the person you are because you're just attracting more and more of that. If you don't like what you're attracting, it's time for you to focus on improvement and become a better person. Be courageous as you attempt your goals. Be courageous as you follow your dreams be courageous as you go out in this world fear needs to be cast aside just move forward i thought this was one of the the, the top ideas in the book the razor's edge if you're just a little bit better than the competition that reaches huge benefits um, i'm thinking of a baseball analogy if you get a hit in baseball three out of ten times, you are probably headed towards the Hall of Fame if you do that in the major league consistently over 15 or 20 years. But if you get a hit two out of ten times, just one less hit out of ten, you will not have a major league career. You will be uh, a player that hits two out of ten, uh, will be in the minor leagues and even out of the minor leagues very quickly. So, you know, think about the, the player that hits three out of ten, year, ten hits. Um, it's getting millions and millions of dollars, fame, fortune, hall of fame. The person who gets two out of 10 is making little to no money in baseball and has to get another job. Just one hit out of 10 is the difference. 
it's the razor's edge. How can you provide the very best? You know, if you're creating a business or service or working for someone else even, how can you be just a little bit better? Because it's the people who are just a little bit better that separate themselves. It's not a big difference, it's just a small difference. And if you do that, you're gonna see huge benefits. Focus on success, focus on building that, that razor's edge. Do not get distracted, do not quit, do not give up, keep moving forward. Do not clutter your life up with things that you don't need or want. Give them away, give them away joyfully. Give whatever you don't want or need away joyfully and it will be replaced with better things. My final thoughts, you know, this is a, a, a legendary book by Bob Proctor. Um, Bob Proctor is a powerful success in life coach. I think he has the, he has the Proctor Gallagher Institute, if you're interested in more of his ideas. And, you know, the power of your thoughts and your self-image is very, very powerful. And if you start out with correcting your thoughts, correcting your self-image, then the action will follow behind that and you will see massive success and improvement in your life. And I really do think that is a true statement. And I think that Bob Proctor's book, uh, You Were Born Rich, is a very powerful book. We were all born rich, but just sometimes some of us don't realize it.